Daryl Lennington here from ITNewsAfrica.com and I'm here with the VW Touring which has been aimed as one of the major cars which will influence the future of what we'll be experiencing when it comes to vehicles. So I'm joined by Hannes Oerstesen who's going to be taking me through the vehicle's very, very tech oriented dashboard to show us just what this vehicle is capable of. Hi, I'm Hannes Oersteisen. I'm the Consumer Experience Manager at Paulstrup Cosa. We find ourselves in the Volkswagen Touareg, a new new generation Touareg. At this Cars Awards, it's a it's an entrant in the premium SUV segment, so it's up against some some pretty impressive impressive machinery, such as the Range Rover Velar and Porsche Cayenne. But um, as you can see from from this instrument layout, this this is not a it doesn't need to stand back for anything out there. It's it's probably got one of the most impressive uh, fascia designs and, and instrument layouts of any car here, actually. And in many ways, it represents where cars are going um, at the moment. Uh, a lot of these things you're going to start seeing filtering down to the likes of your Polos and your and your Tiguans as well in the future. But just just look at it, even the way that if your hand comes close to the screen. You know, it, it sort of activates, it recognizes that you want to give some input. And really what this allows you to do, this entire system, it's called the Innovision Cockpit, is it gives you access to a heck of a lot of information, uh, a lot of customizing options as well. And, you know, one of the big things for customers uh, at present when it comes to tech in cars is, is connectivity. So how easy is it to connect your devices to this vehicle? And, and with this car, it's particularly easy. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto is included. It's got a, it's got a charging pad down here, for example, as well. So you don't even have to, uh, with a wire, connect your phone. It's got multiple USB ports. So there are very, very many options to, to connect your device. And even after you've done that, there are further options as well. But it's not only about you know, information and, and, and connectivity as well. The system does allow you a lot of uh, customizing in terms of colors in the car, in terms of the off-road settings of the vehicle, all sort of available at a, at a fingertip. And then there, there are the safety features as well. Just looking at the screen here, you can see I've, I've selected the infrared night vision uh, camera. And if you scroll through it, there are a, a lot of functions that you can access information that you can access uh, you can have your map displayed in full color on your on your panel as well so overall it is uh, certainly a bang up to date premium SUV but it is also a very good predictor of what we will find in smaller cheaper cars of the future right so if we take a close look at some of the the, the things that you can access via this uh, uh, instrument cluster for example you have the ability to change your seat heating or seat ventilation this car has both you can do it uh, digitally up here uh, if you go back to the menu you've got various options ranging from media to you, you can even look at images but i mean this is a beautiful high res screen here so you people who want to look at images in their car they can do that you can connect some apps uh, navigation obviously pretty pretty straightforward but you can also look at it here for example you could change your view here to a more traditional uh, dial light, layout for example, if you switch back, um, there are much of what is there is replicated here, so essentially it gives you the, both, the best of both worlds. You can have your map there, as most people would, and you can do all your connectivity, you can do your night vision for example, this car has night vision, uh, it's quite spectacular, you've got heads up display, I'm not sure whether, whether you'd be able to see it, but it, I can see in front of me now here uh, uh, some information. Uh, Off-road ability gives you some of the basic information there. Uh, driving data, this is very comprehensive and I think for a lot of people very important these days in terms of fuel, con fuel being so expensive uh, and the likes. But you, very extensive trip computers, coolant temperature, consumption data, average speed, world temperature, a lot of, a lot of detail I think. Um, for many people they might never even potentially even find these things. Um, again, as I said, your, your phone, for example, you very quick at, at your fingertips, connectivity, uh, vehicle status, if there are any issues, they pop up very quickly. Tire pressure monitoring is, is a pretty important one these days, especially as these vehicles can achieve quite high speeds. 
and then if you head back here, as I said earlier, there are various configurations to these screens as well. You can you can get your tire pressure monitoring there if you want. Your oil levels very I think the one potential niggle with these systems is that it takes a lot of familiarization um, they are often very in-depth and very complex and there are multiple menus and sub menus so it does uh, take some familiarization unfortunately so um, in conclusion then I think what, what a car like the new Turek shows us is um, manufacturers are trying to um, simplify in a, in a sense but in, in terms of the first exposure potentially it might be quite complex however having spent a lot of time with some of these vehicles it does you know the, the fact that you don't have massive numbers of buttons anymore in cars is, is you can look at this fascia for example it's very clean and neat it opens up a lot of storage spaces for example because everything is contained in this space um, yeah, very, very shortly, probably within the next 10 years, you'll see these kind of systems even on your budget card. Um, and that's me, that's Anis Oestazen wrapping up. Uh, I'm the Consumer Experience Manager at Castle Coza.